It's time to get to work. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, we're going to begin this evening, uh, May the 9th, with the um, variation hearing. I'll open it up. Uh, the reason behind the hearing, of course, is a piece of property that uh, uh, the owner has requested um, a variation in um, uh, site areas and, and construction. Um, so the purpose is to hear any representation from the public with regards to variation 04-16 submitted by True Blue Water Company Limited to vary the following. Lot 10, storage building, site area minimum requirement from 40,000 square feet varied to 8,712. Site width minimum requirement from 150 feet varied to 66. Front yard minimum requirement from 30 feet varied to 25. And side yard minimum requirement from 20 feet uh, varied to 3 feet on the south side and 13 feet on the north side. Also on lot 3, a wooden shed. The site area minimum requirement from 40,000 square feet to 8,712. Site width minimum requirement from 150 feet uh, varied to 66. And the front yard minimum requirement from 30 feet uh, varied to 3 feet. Um, did you want to give a bit more of an explanation of what all that means in English? <laughs> It's just he wants to be able to put the buildings closer to the property lines than the zoning bylaw permits. He, um, they're going to put a storage building in the front, and then in the back corner, he wants to put a wooden shed. Right. Okay. Uh, has everybody toured there? Okay. Right. I, I just, I just realized tonight. Uh, pardon my ignorance, but can somebody explain how you were going to get forty thousand square feet on a lot that's? Not for the insufficient size. So I'm just wondering where that number 40,000 requirement comes from. It comes from your zoning bylaw. Yeah. When they created the zoning bylaw, they set minimum standards. A lot of our, our properties don't meet those minimum well, standards that were previously set. That's what I thought it was set. probably, yeah. but right. I wasn't sure. Thank you. So, have to have a number somewhere, so that's the number. Um, there's no one here for or against. Um, is there any, any more discussion from council on this? All right, then I'll, uh, yes? That uh, lane issue that was brought, this relates to, uh, and I saw something where, where we no longer own the lane. Correct. Right. What had happened is the back lane that goes in between all of the properties along that specific property has been purchased by uh, someone within the vicinity. And the applicant is making application to buy that chunk of back lane so that it can amalgamate both of his lots into one large <coughs> piece. And in this case, just in case it's going to be a slow process, what the applicant did was they made application based on using two lots. So okay, this is so the worst a, case scenario that he has applied right. for. So effectively, when we say lane, we don't mean lane because it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Correct. It's okay, been closed so it's just, and it's been sold. It's just yeah. landlocked property in there. Mm. Except for the fact that it's it has access, access from both sides, both sides. correct? Right. From both one sides. side anyway. Yeah. Two sides. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Okay. We'll close the hearing, and uh, we'll uh, open up our uh, council meeting for this evening. I'll call this meeting to order. What time is it? Six oh five p.m. Uh, and uh, item number two: adoption of agenda. Should be resolution. <coughs> Moved by Councillor Rock, seconded by <coughs> Councillor Zelensky. Be it resolved that the agenda be adopted as presented. Okay, any questions? Additions, deletions? All those in favor? Opposed, if any. It's carried. Oops. Confirmation of minutes, item number three. Moved by Councillor Rock, seconded by Councillor Zelensky. Be it resolved that the minutes of the regular council meeting and the Committee of the Whole minutes of April 25th, 2016 be hereby approved. All statutory declarations having been complied with. Okay. Any uh, discussion on this? Hearing none, I'll call the question. All in favor? Okay, it's carried 6 nothing. I really should have it wasn't here. Yeah, you were here. Yeah. Okay, while you sign, I shall move along. Uh, item number four, citizens period. Eager members of the media. Eh, that's all. all right then, item number five, we'll move into bylaws, 5.1, reserve fund for municipal elections. Are you okay? Yeah. 
Uh, moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Rock. Be resolved that bylaw number 4548 being a bylaw of the Town of the Pot to establish a reserve fund for municipal elections <coughs> to be for the first time. So we have a new reserve fund that we're creating. Um, it's for elections that happen every four years, and generally every fourth year we allocate $10,000 out of the budget to pay <coughs> the election, but this way we can allocate $2,500 per year. So it's mm. covered. That way, if there's a really good bylaw, something there would be some slush. On first reading? I didn't say that word. Some money there. Hearing none, I'll call the question. All in favor? Okay. That's good. Okay. Uh, 5.11, first reading reserve, pardon me, 5.2, reserve fund for Sam Waller Museum renovations. Uh, moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Rock. Be resolved that bylaw number 4549 being a bylaw of the Town of the Plot to establish a reserve fund for the Sam Waller Museum renovations be read a first time. Uh, it's generally the same thing as the elections, it's just $4,000 that's budgeted each year to go into the reserve fund. Okay, any discussion? You done? I'll call the question. All in favor? It's carried. And item number uh, 5.31, uh, Fire Prevention and Emergency Services Bylaw. Moved by myself, second by Councillor Adam. Gibb, resolve that bylaw number 4547 being a bylaw of the Town of the Pole to provide for firefighting, fire prevention, the related re regulations of fire and other hazards, the adoption of the Manitoba Fire Code and for establishing, continuing, and operating an emergency fire service to be known as the Fire Prevention and Emergency Service Bylaw and to repeal bylaw number 4475 be read a second time. Thank you. Any discussion on this item? <coughs> Councilor Rock? Uh, just a question of clarification, and I think it was, might have been a small oversight, but in the bylaw, uh, they're under 32. Uh, part nine, repeal and enactment. Uh, there's there's a 32A says that the bylaw number 4212 and bylaw number 4270 hereby be repealed. But they were previously repealed, so they shouldn't have to be repealed a second time. Which number do you want? Sorry, I'm... Yeah, uh, I'm, like, I'm looking under 32 yeah, and I, I see know, fireworks. No, says fireworks sale permit says whatever it is. <coughs> it's a, quite a ways in. And what did it have to do with Brian? Oh, there's two number 32s. It's oh, under part, there is. It's under part 9, which oh, is page 12 of 25. Uh, the okay. only... I, oh, sorry. Hmm. The only item I addressed in this for this change or the... Appeal was the fire training hours was the only section that was well, adjusted. Well, be that as it may, there's two 32s. Yeah. So one is a firework sales permit and the other is I think the uh, second, repeal. Yeah, the second the repeal. 32 should be 32. Well, 32 should be 35. So, 33. No, 35 because there's already a 33 and a 34. There's a 33 and a 34. That's good. Okay. Um, Any? Um, if you want, just table it. I think we just table it. Now let's get it cleaned up. All right. Uh, committees then. Uh, public works, no action, personal action. Finance and administration, uh, capital purchases from reserve funds to Winton Pool, 6.3.11. <coughs> Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Commodore, whereas during budget review, Kelsey Recreation Commission's capital request was removed from the budget and returned asking for reprioritiza reprioritization of projects, and whereas the original request contained a pool dehumidification system in the amount of $25,000, and whereas when the new plan was submitted, the dehumidification system was missed in error, and whereas the Winton Pool Reserve Fund has a balance of $60,000, therefore be it resolved that Council authorize the transfer of up to $25,000 from the Winton Pool Reserve Fund for a pool dehumidification system. Okay. Any discussion? Jolie brought that to our attention uh, just, just after we um, had done our final review on the budget. Any question on this? Hearing none, I'll call the question. All those in favor? <coughs> Uh, 6.3.12 arena. As a 
compliment to that. I get to say the word reprioritization again. That's uh, moved by myself and seconded by Councillor <coughs> Commodore, whereas during budget review, Kelsey Recreation Commission's capital request was removed from the budget and returned, asking for reprioritization of projects, and whereas the original request contained a Simcoe Garden status system for the arena in the amount of $6,000, and whereas when the new plan was submitted, the alarm system was missed in error, and whereas the arena reserve fund has a balance of $14,000, therefore be a resolved that Council authorize the transfer of up to $6,000 from the arena reserve fund for a Simcoe Garden status system. Well said. Thank you. Any discussion on this? Call a question. All in favor? All right, 6.3.2, payroll and accounts. Moved by myself, seconded by Councilor Commodore. Be it resolved that Council authorize the following accounts. General checks numbers 17044 to 17078 in the amount of $54,064.81 and KRC checks number 5353 to 5465 in the amount of, uh, is that honestly supposed to be 3123000 I'm thinking probably not. <coughs> it's fairly For which one, sorry? Uh, KRC. KRC checks. It's, yeah, I'm thinking one too many digits. It's probably supposed to be 312000 or something like that. Yeah, it's probably behind you. Yeah, 312,000. Sorry. If I can make that change here and yeah. initial it. Yeah, can you just initial it, please? Okay. <clears throat> KRC checks numbers 5353 to 5465 in the amount of $312,705.14. Perfect. Any discussion on this? Amended them. Uh, all in favor? Uh, 6.3.3, handy then. Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Commodore. Be it resolved that Council accept the auditor's financial report for the Paul Handy Van for the year ending December 31st, 2015, as prepared by Cavalca and Company Chartered Professional Accountants. Any discussion on this? I just, is there a request for funding? No, they had a surplus, actually. <coughs> just accepting their okay. audited financial statements, right? Okay. Yeah. All those in favor? Okay, uh, let's move along then. 6.3.4, water to taxes transfer. Moved by myself, seconded by Councilor Commodore. Be it resolved that Council authorize the outstanding water accounts be transferred to property taxes as set out in the attached Schedule A in the amount of $51,089.08 in accordance with Section 252, bracket 2, in the, of the Municipal Act. Any discussion? Here again, I'll call the question. All those in favor? Six point three point five, the two thousand fourteen audit. Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Commodore, be it resolved that Council accept the Town of the Paw consolidated financial statements and the financial statements for the year ending December thirty first, twenty fourteen, for the following entities: the Paw Wellness Center, the Paw Airport, Kelsey Recreation Commission, as per discussion during the in camera portion of the April twenty fifth, twenty sixteen Committee of the Whole meeting. Any discussion on this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All those in favor? Opposed to Fanny? I'll get back in a moment. Can I sign this after the meeting? I'm going to say you better schedule 10 minutes to check over all the things you forgot. There's a lot of them. I'll have to come back tomorrow and do the ones I didn't get. 6.3.6, um, <coughs> tax arrears agreement. Jim, I have my to excuse myself. Shh. Okay. <coughs> Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Zielinski, be it resolved that Council authorize the Mayor and Assistant Chief Administrative Officer to sign an agreement for payment of tax arrears with respect to taxes on Lot 9 slash 16, Block 16, Plan 
587 in accordance with policy <coughs> 822 as per discussion during the in-camera portion of the April 25th, 2016 Committee of the Whole. <coughs> Any discussion on this? Hearing none, I'll call the question. All those in favor? Okay, six, nothing. One abstention carried. Okay. I was just going to say that's not actually an abstention. An abstention okay. indicates it is abstained. Okay. Just write one abstain or whatever. It's not an abstain, it's just not or, present. Sorry, not present. Yeah. conflict. All right. Um, we will then go on to 6.5.1 firefighter wages. Moved by, uh, moved by Councillor Moore, second by Councillor Zelensky. Be resolved that council authorized the firefighter wages um, for the month of March 2016 in the, in the amount of $3,675 submitted by Fire Chief Greg Zimmerman. Zimmerman. Any discussion? Hear none, I'll call the question. All in favor? Okay, next item on the agenda, 6.7 KRC minutes. I think this is for information, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So while you're away, I brought forward a proposal. I see these in here, yeah. Yeah. Instead of everyone reporting, which I think it's great do, that we transfer the minutes so people... So, so we just receive it as information in the middle of a council meeting? That's what we do? Okay, fine, no problem. 6.8, citizens of patrol, same thing. Uh, item number 7.1, tenor number T05-2016, by and Fence. <coughs> Moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Zelinsky, whereas an invitation to tender was sent to four suppliers and advertised on the Town of the Paw webpage for supply and installation of fence at the Centennial Park <coughs> Ball Diamond and Arena One Ball Diamond. And whereas the closing date was May 4th, 2016, and three tenders were received. Therefore, be it resolved that Council accept the tender submitted by Wallace & Wallace in the amount of $48,093.73, taxes included, for the supply and installation of fence at the Centennial Park Ball Diamond and Arena One Ball Diamond as per tender number T05-2016. And be it further resolved that the money is being expended from the Bipole 3, Bipole 3 Fund as per the KRC five-year recreational plan. Can I yep. comment on that? You'll note that there were three tenders received. The one that we chose was slightly higher than the lowest tender, and this was specifically due to the references that were done. Okay. It's good to hear. Um, they've yes. Also, sorry. They've also looked at the timing and that sort of thing? Yeah. And, yeah okay. Good. Timing, the jobs that were sure. being done, and the biggest thing was because everybody was pretty close and neck and neck, yeah. um, references were done on each of them, sure. and that's how they chose the second. Okay. Call the question. <coughs> Sorry, did you want to I, I was just going to comment that uh, the workshops I attended in Brandon were about this and about that exact issue where it's not always to, to a municipality's best interest to just automatically take the lowest bid. You have to dig deeper and find the best one. And I'm glad to see we're doing that. Good. Me too. All in favor? Any? None. Perfect. And soon commences. Okay, you wanted to give your report? And then, do you want mine first or sure. yours first? No, you go ahead. Uh, my apologies for this not being in the meeting. I did it this afternoon as I was away last week. Just some of the highlights that it's relating to various departments. The museum hosted several school and youth groups. Um, it's that time of year again when uh, the weather is getting nicer and it's a little easier for the students to be walking to the museum. So they're getting a little bit more uh, clientele there. Museum is also doing interviews for summer student positions. KRC submitted their final report for the enabling accessibility grant for the senior seating project. I don't know if anybody's been at the arena, but we finally have some uh, senior seating happening. How about that? Yeah, that, they've actually got the equipment working. And uh, moving forward, we're going to hopefully do a little bit of a, a blurb because this did come to fruition because we had some pretty persistent community members. So I'm really happy to see that that happened. It's a decade in the making, I think. It has been. Yeah. It has been. Yeah. Um, KRC also hosted a student placement from Frontier School Division. Um, this was someone that was shadowing on the job. Interviews were held for green team positions in the recreation and maintenance departments. K 
KRC also hosted the first Town of the Paw wellness session with 31 uh, employees participating in the wellness session. Public Works has been spending a lot of time sewer jetting, opening catch basins, and throwing, or thawing of sewer, or sewer lines. Potholes <coughs> are still an ongoing issue. We are using coal patch, however, it's not always holding well. Um, we're not getting the time out of it that we used to, but I see highways is having the same issues, so I don't know if it's a temperature thing or what the problem was. Uh, meetings with Manitoba Hydro as it relates to the advocate position, which uh, just to give you a heads up, the advocate position has been advertised as of today. Street sweeping program has been going very well. Um, you see them out early in the mornings and your streets are much cleaner. Repair of sewer on Bignell Avenue. This uh, street is a huge concern as the infrastructure is old. Um, in speaking with the municipal superintendent, this is uh, one of the core areas that they want to see the infrastructure renew renewal. Um, engineering department has also worked on familiarizing plans for the La Rose Avenue upgrade, so we're pretty much done with that and ready to roll. Internal training commenced for utility property tax clerk position. Um, as mentioned, we had some clerical positions that have been uh, under revision in the front office, so we started training on that. CFO is currently working on the 2015 year end in preparation for the upcoming audit. That'll be much quicker than last year. The Paw Fire Department is preparing and working with the RHA and MPI party program, also working with Grace Lake and the Paw Airport on holding live exercise programs. What I mean by live exercise is each <coughs> year uh, we have to hold an exercise as it relates to emergencies with our airport operations, so ours will be taking place later in June to be announced because we want it to be a surprise. Two new members have also joined the fire department and the fire department and engineering department are working together for a plan of cleaning the uptown uh, uh, sidewalks. They started doing a little bit of the sidewalk cleaning but become a safety issue so now we've got to do a little bit of watering down with the sidewalks and then taking your sweeper across the sidewalks. Workplace safety and health, don't want anybody hurt. CEO and HR officer attended DTI training in Winnipeg all last week. This is as it relates to airport operations. Public safety officer position has been posted. We've had a few applications trickling in. Uh, several interviews in various departments as it relates to summer operations. We usually jack up the summer operations and the hires as it relates to maintenance and student programs. Several inquiries as it relates to multifamily housing initiatives. We've probably had four in the last two to three weeks. And it's people that are wanting to come to the PAW that are not necessarily from here and want to look at senior initiatives and also for multifamily housing. And airport preparations for fire season, that'll be, the water bombers will be here in the next few weeks. So that's my report. Any questions? Thank you, Randy. Uh, Councillor Ruff, Museum Board. Uh, museum Board has a meeting scheduled for tomorrow night at 6. Perfect. Uh, Chamber of Commerce, Councillor Commodore. No meeting. Mm -hmm. Just okay. Uh, no meeting with the Pawn Area Justice Network. Uh, Councillor Rock, Sustainable Forests. Uh, no meeting, no report. Okay. Um, citizens on Patrol, Councillor Zelensky and Commodore. I was not the last meeting. I put the minutes up on, but I was I was, I was unable to do it. No. Nope. Uh, to see talent the show at Kelsey School for the granddaughter. Recycling Board, Councillors Ford and Commodore. We didn't have a meeting since our last Council meeting. Uh, we have a meeting coming up next week, I believe. Okay. Kelsey Rec, Councillor Gibb. There hasn't been a meeting. And the minutes from the previous meeting are on the Okay. Uh, Paw Community Renewal Corporation, Councillor Marsh. Um, there was a meeting last week. They got a couple of uh, grant applications for the small grant program, one from the library's writer in residence program, so they were able to give a little bit of money towards that initiative, as well as um, a youth initiative called PARTY, which is Prevent Alcohol and Risk-Related Trauma in Youth. Um, they gave $2,200 to that organization who will be doing some demonstrations and education for the youth of the PAW and <coughs> Um, we had a consultant come in and make some uh, recommendations for moving forward. They're working on a new five-year community plan. Um, and they've also been inquiring about uh, new rental spaces because they're finding the rent in that building to be a little bit more than uh, they can afford right now. So they're looking for either uh, another place to rent or a way that they could um, decrease the rent at the Visitor Information Center. And I think that's about it. 
Excellent. Um, <coughs> library Board, Councillor Zielinski. I know me. Uh, Joint Committee of Council with the RM. Does that anything happen on that? Uh, I talked to Amber and she's not going to initiate any meetings now until the fall. We're really busy with the KRC, so. Okay. Um, Kelsey School Division, and it looks like we're having a meeting scheduled for the 12th of May. Well, that's when it is. Okay. Yeah. It's lunchtime. Yeah. I yeah. sent the I so. information to you yesterday as to what they have on the agenda. I saw so it if there's I anything that you yeah. want for a briefing, I first thought let I, me know. I thought I missed it. I thought it was on Friday. Okay. Good news. Good news. I didn't miss it. Uh, CDC is meeting tomorrow night. Awesome. Um, citizens period. Gentlemen. Part two. Come on. Somebody say something. Okay. <laughs> Did I hear the word slush fun? I, s I stopped myself, it but I was going way. to say that like we have this elections reserve fund, so therefore if there ever had to be a by-election, we would have a little she bit needed of... To have a slush I was going to say slush <laughs> money, but I, I stopped myself. I said slush, and I just stopped. Good for you. All right, uh, can you uh, adjourn us then? Oh, yes, motion to adjourn, please. Okay.